Jersey City, New Jersey, the second largest city in the state, sits along the Hudson River facing the Manhattan skyline. Over the years, Jersey City has seen major gentrification with rich affluent whites moving in and local poor residents outpriced, forced to leave their neighborhoods. Despite that, some sections of Jersey City are untouched by gentrification and overrun by street gangs. Currently, a gang war is taking place in Jersey City between two different super gangs with murders piling up on both sides. But before I get into all of that, I'm gonna need you to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification, like, and run down on the comments. Also, follow me on IG at the Crime Street Journal. Gangs have existed in Jersey City since the 1950s, born out of poverty and ethnicity. The gangs in Jersey City have evolved through the decades from local kids hanging out rumbling with bats and chains to national gangs like the Bloods and Crips, drug enterprises, violence, shootouts, and murder. The Curry Woods Housing Complex is located in the Greenville section of Jersey City and home of the Five Deuce Hoover Crips. November 12, 2015, Javante Tay-Tay Galbraith was standing in front of 93 Winfield Avenue. The block was a known hangout for the Curry Woods Hoover Crips. At 8.10 p.m., Three rival gang members, Raekwon Smalls, Hatem Bryant, and Jonathan Mallard traveled to their ops turf to run a drill. In a walk by, the three fired shots at the group where Javante was standing. The other group returned fire as the three men ran up the block and jumped into a waiting car driven by Eric Chapman. Javante and the others headed in the opposite direction when suddenly Javante collapsed, unaware that he had been shot multiple times in his torso. His friends surrounded him, putting pressure on his wounds and rushed to the Jersey City Medical Center where he was later pronounced dead. Jonathan Mallard and Raekwon Smalls were sentenced to 13 years in prison for the murder. Hatim Bryant received 18 years and the getaway driver, Eric Chapman, received five. As homage to Javante, the Hoover Crips from Curry Woods named themselves Tay Tay Shrimp Gang and the members referred to themselves as Sharks. The Tay Tay Shrimp Gang are aligned with another Jersey City gang set from the Marion Gardens housing complex. The members from Marion Gardens are affiliated with the Bloodhound Brims and Sex, Money and Murder, two blood sets. April 26, 2016, on the corner of Martin Luther King Drive and Fulton Avenue, Romance Morrison and Isaiah Huggins met to fight Rondell Rush, AKA Mr. 300. According to the state's key witness, Romance Morrison, he testified that Isaiah Huggins wanted to fight him. And when the pair met up, Isaiah Huggins pulled out the gun and open fired. Rondell's mom was in the house when she heard the gunshots and ran out to find her son bleeding, shaking, and gasping for air. People quickly put Rush into the car to Jersey City Medical Center, where he was pronounced dead the next day. As a tribute to Rondell Rush, the Bloods from Marion Gardens call themselves 300. 
the most well-known member of 300 is rapper Al Biao, who was acquitted of a 2014 murder where prosecutors alleged after a brawl at the Jersey City waterfront, Al Biao threw a man who was shot into the Hudson River. The shot man was not dead when he was thrown in the river, but drowned after. Five years later, in August 2019, Al Biao was arrested of first degree attempted murder and weapons offenses. Law enforcement alleges he shot a man in Passaic, New Jersey, and the man survived. The case is still pending, but according to sources and Al Biao social media, he will be released soon. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe, like this video, run down on the comments, and also follow me on IG at the Crime Street Journal.